Hello, good day to you. Welcome to this week's edition of UP Forest Podcast. As usual on this channel, we'll run through nine shots of forest pairs and metals today on Saturdays. Then on Sundays, we upload weekly stock market forecast on this channel. And in the timeline of this video down below, there's a timestamp of the assets we'll be running through in this video. So I hope you find this video useful in your own analysis and your trading. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, do remember to hit the like button down below on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice trading week. See you soon. On euro dollar for this week, euro dollar, I expected this after this corrective climb to drop here, which failed to give us this drop. And right now, I see this potentially as a flat. I see things this will drop back down to give us another climb upside to complete the accumulation. I think they are accumulating before this pin drop will happen for us. So if you zoom to power time frame on euro dollar for this week, I expect this can be making a flat here for more drop downside or this will correct here for a while give us this drop for some continuation of this upside so either way we will watch out for this uh, this week on euro dollar set set up reason to one hour time frame we want to watch out for this potential drop complete this flat return to this top and then we look for the sell here i think there's some sell coming in here as it test this stop on pound dollar for this week pound dollar on the daily at present give us this corrective climb as the a wave and right now it, i think they are dropping here to complete this flat as b wave and after this flat i expect that they will return correctively back upside to give a b c and then we drop downside so this week watch for some continuation of the same momentum we zoom to four hour time frame on pound dollar on the far time frame, I expect this sell to continue dropping downside to this trend line and bounce from here back upside before the big sell will come through for us. So this week, work for some small sales and some buys back upside. One pound dollar. Present to one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I think they are correcting here at the moment for some sell downside. So first, we watch out for this sell opportunity. And then on Aussie dollar for this week, Aussie dollar at present, we gave this corrective structure a drop. And right now, I think they are starting another corrective structure here back upside for that drop downside. So if we zoom to power time frame on Aussie dollar, I want to watch out for this potential. They are about to complete a running flat structure here. After this running flat structure, I think they will correct here and then give us another climb here, similar to what they did here. A, B, C. I think they are going to give us another A, B, C here for more downside. So we want to watch out for that this week on Aussie dollar. Reason to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, they can correct here. I think they will correct here. Give us a buy set up upside before the set for the correction will come through for us. So there's some time left this week. So we want to watch out for this on Aussie dollar. On New Zealand dollar for this week, New Zealand dollar on the daily, it has completed this A, B, C correction. So we are now watching for the potential drop downside. As I think this is an A and they've completed the B and they are going to give us C downside. So we want to watch for the potential of this drop on New Zealand dollar. So if we zoom to far time frame, we want to watch out for that. As I think this is a reversal pattern here at the moment give us abc what is many just a retest of this top and then the return with correction say as you can see they give an accumulation here give an accumulation here and right now they are accumulating here once more and all those accumulations are for sale downside that's what i believe so i want to watch out for that this week on new zealand dollar so if we zoom to one hour time frame i think they will correct here give a retest of this top and then come back correct 
on dollar swiss for this week dollar swiss at present as i expected it, it has been coming down to, to retest this low and complete this running flat once they complete the running flat i think they are going to turn for us back upside so we want to watch out for a big move upside on dollar swiss once they retest the low on the daily so if you zoom to the power time frame on dollar swiss on the power time frame we expect that i think that this is presently a flat a running flat in the making so once they are true in this flat they will drop to retest the daily low so we want to watch out for that this week before they will bounce back upside to give us to buy a set up upside so we want to look out for that this week on dollar swiss if we zoom to one hour time frame on the one hour time frame we want to watch out for that as well this flat a drop and another climb to complete the running flat before the final retest of the low and then some upside on the line end for this week the line has finally started the drop that i expected as i said this i saw this as a running flat for a retest of this low before they will give us this move back here so we want to watch out for that I see, I think some sales will still come through on the line for this week. This week is C sell. So if we zoom to power time frame on the line, on the power time frame, I think they are making an A, B, C here for some downside. So we want to watch out for the sale opportunity. Once they complete the accumulation here, they are giving us a sale downside. So we want to watch out for that. Let's develop this week. If we zoom to the one hour time frame. On the line for this week on the one hour time frame i think this this is a correction for the retest of this top and then they will drop to complete this a we see or they will give us another climb upside to complete on dollar card for this week dollar card at present is still attempting to retest this low to complete this a b c running flat so at present they are preparing for a climb here so i think they are preparing to give us a running flat here for they will give us the completion of this bigger running flat so we want to watch out for that we zoom to the far time frame on dollar card on the far time frame on dollar card this week as we see they have been accumulating some volumes here and i think once they are through with this accumulation they will give us an up spike here before they will complete the drop down side so we want to watch out for the completion of this flat for some sales we come through on dollar card we zoom to the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame this was the a and I think this is a complete B. So they are dropping to complete this C. But they will give us this climb and continue the drop downside. So I want to watch out for this. Let's complete the sell this week on dollar card. On gold for this week, gold at present has been climbing very sluggishly upside. The way they climb here it means they are going to retest this low at least before we will get the the momentum that we are looking for so right now we'll be looking out for sale opportunity on gold as i think they are going back downside we zoom to power time frame on gold at present they are tempted to give us a flat here for some sale downside this was a i was looking out for this to give a claim upside they failed to give us that move so we will now watch this this is the correction and they are coming downside so we'll watch for this drop on gold sell setup is coming this week on gold back to the low so we want to watch out for that we zoom to one hour time frame on the one hour time frame on silver for this week silver at present has given us this climb upside and i think this is impulse now so i expect it will give us a drop here and a flat potentially here but it will drop downside for us. So I set up what we expect from silver this week. We zoom to power time frame. On the power time frame, this was the drop. They collectively climb back upside. So I think they were going to drop. They are going to drop back down. We test this loop, potentially come back upside, complete this flat, and then give us the big set downside on silver. So we want to watch out for that this week. We zoom to one hour time frame too. Watch out, this is a complete flat already, so I think we can retest this here for ABC and then drop down. So, you want to watch out for self opportunity on silver for this week? So, that is it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.